Mind you, they do say it helps to talk about these things, don't they? What things? Unhappy memories. Oh, good. We're back to that, are we? Yeah, well, that's absolutely true, Blanche, because a problem shared is a problem halved. Go on, then. You've twisted my arm. Only it's 39 years to the day that my Donald was killed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Knocked down by a car, he was. Never stood a chance. In this street? No, we didn't live here then. Does Deirdre remember? Deirdre saw it. She was looking out of the window at the time. Oh, no. How old was she? Seven. <gasps> the worst age you can be to lose a parent, apparently. Well, why is that? Well, when you're younger, you hardly remember them. And when you're older, you're better placed to handle it. But at seven, you're scarred for life, according to psychiatrists. Yeah, but she's done all right, though, for herself, hasn't she? I think that day marked her choice of men forever. How come? Well, Ray Langton. He was an accident waiting to happen. And then Ken. What's he done wrong? Don't you see the pattern? Marriage with someone her own age, it didn't work. So she ran to the arms of the father she never had. Ken's old enough, after all. So how do you explain Samir? Bounced from one extreme to the other, didn't she? The father let her down, so she married the son she never had. It was still a parent-child set up. And what about John Lindsay? He was her age. Ooh. The man who never was. Suited her to a T. And when that ended in tears, she went back to a surrogate dad. And all because of that day, when Donald was bounced off the bonnet of a black Ford prefect. Broke his back in five places. Um, I think if you don't mind, uh, Blanche, I will just pop home, see if Richard's there. Mm. Uh, careful when you cross the road. You never know what's round the corner. <laughs> 